Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the first entry into my art journal. So last year I was interested in starting an art journal, but I just never got around to it. So this year in 2022, I was like, no, I'm going to do my art journal this year. I'm going to really try to, to get it done. So right now I'm showing you, um, I'm just... Let me start over so um i saw online that people were using composition notebooks to create their art journals and since i had an old composition notebook lying around i was like let me just go ahead and use this because i didn't want to go out and buy a brand new sketchbook have something looking all nice and pretty and then be afraid to like put bad art in it and I really wanted this art journal to be something where I could kind of just explore different things and just do, you know, not feel pressure to put beautiful finished pieces in it. So I found an old composition notebook and I saw people were like kind of just designing or decorating the outside of them so it didn't look like just a regular old composition notebook. So that's what I'm doing here. I ran out, went to Dollar Tree bought some cheap supplies to decorate with which in hindsight I kind of regret just not going to Walmart and getting stuff that's cheap but not as cheap as dollar store quality because the supplies were trash um, but anyway it you know it is what it is and I made it I made it work for what it was so here you see I, I bought these little bedazzled sheets from Dollar Tree and it's supposed to be like you can take the white paper off the back of it and it's supposed to stick but when I was taking the white paper off it was taking the sticky off with it as you can see right here but then so then I just wind up just putting glue on the back of it and gluing it down but the other day I figured out how to get the white paper off without taking the sticky layer off too so now it's stuck on there properly because the glue did not stick because Dollar Tree glue does not stick so if you plan on doing a project like this just go ahead and go to Walmart or Target or something even Michaels and spend the money and get semi good quality stuff it doesn't have to be anything super expensive obviously but it needs to be better quality than Dollar Tree so Dollar Tree did have some cool looking little washi tapes again the sticky quality of it was almost non-existent um, but I liked how they kind of match what, what I had going on here with the blue and the purple. I actually have like little purple bedazzled sheets. I don't know if you guys saw that already. Um, I try to put it on the spine of the book, but I couldn't get it to stick um, because I hadn't figured out how to get the, the paper off without taking the sticky part on and it wasn't sticking very well with the glue. So I may go back and put the purple bedazzled sheets on the spine um, later on because I did figure out how to get that the the paper off the back and still keep it sticky so I may go back and add that because I really like the way it looked and then the wash the purple glittery washi tape matches it almost perfectly so I kind of want to go back and add that <laughs> Okay, so here I am taking a glue stick and I'm gluing together about three or four pages. I saw on YouTube people were gluing together the pages to kind of make them thicker and more substantial. So when you go in and add like paint and other types of wet medium, it doesn't immediately disintegrate the cheap pages inside the composition book. So that's what I'm doing here, just kind of pasting together a few pages to kind of make it more substantial because I'm planning on painting uh, my first entry.
So I used acrylic gesso um, to paint over the page so you don't have those blue lines going across. I just want it to be a pure white page. So I used some acrylic gesso to get that um, white, uh, just to make it pure white. And so this was the 1st of January. And I wanted to do something that reflected how I felt at the beginning of the year. So I was feeling like encouraged and motivated um, about my art, about life in general. So I wanted to do something to kind of reflect that. So I found these stencils again at Dollar Tree and I stenciled out the word hopeful. Um, please ignore my misspelling. <laughs> I noticed that afterwards I'm just like hopeful only has one L, but we're going to look past that. So anyway, I wrote out the word hopeful using the stencil because I used, I think it was like uh, different color blues because I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. And it had a really cute like sun shape on the stencil as well. So I added that on there because the sun it makes everyone feel happy and warm. And so I wanted to have that on there. And I found these really, really pretty uh, butterfly stickers at Dollar Tree. So I added the but butterflies on there. And I was doing some research at the end of the year and learned that butterflies actually signif er, signify new beginnings, which makes a lot of sense. And so I wanted to add that into this little spread here to kind of, you know, give myself fresh new brand, fresh brand new start to the year. Um, yeah, and just to kind of liven it up and add a little extra pizzazz to this entry. So on Pinterest, I found this really, really, really pretty picture of like this uh, blue sky with these white fluffy clouds and then like the orange, I think they're called monarch butterflies flying in the, in the air. And I wanted to kind of, I got kind of inspi inspired by that. So that's what you see here. I drew out some fluffy clouds and I'm about to paint the whole page blue to, um, to show like the inspiration to kind of, well, pretty much copy off the inspiration that I saw on Pinterest there. So I apparently didn't show the part where I added Allison uh, Felix to the rest of the spread, but it's okay. But I found a cool picture of her in a magazine. So I cut her out and she looked like she was just taking off for a race. And I kind of wanted that whole like starting line going full force, um, you know, I can just run in the race type of, of feel. And on the other side there, I just put a little family spread. Um, the next day I just reflected on like how I got to spend time with my kids and my husband and we sat down and watched a movie and had pizza together and it was just a really nice vibe that we had going on there. So that's what that spread is about. I just jotted down quick synopsis of what we did and found a couple of little quotes about togetherness and family. And then here I'm uh, pasting together a couple more pages in preparation for my next entry. So here is the finished spread. Allison Phoenix looking strong and mighty and the beautiful butterfly sticker, the blue sky with hopeful going across the middle down there. And then my quick little family spread down there on the bottom. So I, like I said, this is my son's old notebook. So he had a little writing already in it and I didn't want to cover it up. So I kind of just put a little border around it with some marker and then put my um, family entry there below it. Cause I felt really bad covering up his writing. It was so cute. So I didn't want to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for additional spreads that I'll be adding to my art journal. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.